The inside is where it needs to start in every county. This is unique and innovative and it's already navigating their re-entry. The title of this building is a correctional facility. With the programs that we're putting in place, we are trying to provide people opportunities to leave here better than when they came in here. The re-entry fair is a two-day event at the Humboldt County Correctional Facility where we invited service providers to come into our facility and offer um, explanations of the different services in our community. And the next day we have employers come and offer different employment opportunities. You know, at first I was a little hesitant about it. I was like, oh, I don't really want to go meet with these people. I'm in jail. What's it going to look, you know, what's it going to look like me being in jail and meeting with these guys? And it was the total opposite of what I thought was going to happen. We bring the service providers and employers into the day room so they have direct access to the inmate population and are able to connect, tell about their resources, their job opportunities that they have for ex-offenders when they get out of custody and are looking to re-enter society. They're not saying, oh, we'll see you when you get back. They're saying, we don't want to see you come back. They're bringing people in that can help them. That changes the relationship, which creates a bridge that's being built to where they're already comfortable with the people who are coming in, the service providers, so when they go out, they've already met them. There's no fear there. They're removing the fear of connecting with the service providers that can offer the help. They've already established that relationship and can go and continue the relationship once they're outside the walls. This program is just definitely effective. It used to be you just get out and, you, and you're out on the street. Now, they're making connections in here now, each inmate can go to two or three different people and when they get out, be able to make connections and actually be successful. There's a whole different talk around the jail about people looking forward to getting out and, and actually having a future. This right here is, is a big opportunity. It's something that will give them stability to stand on in order to move forward and do something with ourselves besides coming back to this place. Employers will hire you if you have a felony. They will hire you if you have a record. As long as you're trying to change, that they're going to hire you and let you give you a chance to do that. Everybody's out there going, man, <laughs> it's going to get better. Giving them the opportunity to develop a plan for their release is critical. When they don't have that plan, it's very easy for them to go back into the old habits that maybe led them to getting arrested. And if they have a plan to do something different, then hopefully they're not coming back. In the law enforcement community, to see that we are making a positive impact on people's lives, I mean, that's kind of why we're here. I feel like if somebody wants to change their lives, then we should do everything to support them. There are mothers, there are fathers, there are brothers, there are sisters, there are friends. People forget that the jail is a part of our community. So by investing in people that have been incarcerated, we're investing in ourselves.